Hello, hello everyone and welcome back again to another plan with me. So this one is actually a really exciting plan with me because it's going to be my first Halloween spread of the year. So for the whole month of October I decided to use only Halloween kits. And it is kind of strange because I don't even celebrate Halloween. I, I have never ever celebrated Halloween before, which I think it's such a shame. But over here in the Netherlands, it's just not like a public holiday and we don't celebrate it over here, which I think is such a shame because I think it's one of the most fun and nicest holidays to celebrate. And I really, really wish that we would do it over here in the Netherlands, but it's just not a thing over here. I mean, when I was on school, it was kind of a thing. And I knew like some people who would celebrate it, but it, it, it wasn't just like a common thing, like a normal thing to celebrate. And yeah, as I said, I think that is that is really sad because I wish we would do it way more. But maybe in a couple of years, our country decides to make it a holiday I think that would be a really, really good idea. I mean, an extra holiday would never hurt no anyone, right? I think that's a great idea, guys. Let's bring Halloween to the Netherlands and make it a thing over here. Because look at this kit, guys. I think Halloween brings such good vibes with it. And I'm not even the biggest fan of like scary things, but it doesn't necessarily have to be like a scary thing, right? Halloween. It's just like fun and it's for the kids. We do actually have a uh, public holiday, which is called St. Martin. And it is kind of similar to Halloween, I would say, because the kids do uh, go to the different houses to do something like trick or treat. And they actually sing a song to their people. They ring the bell. They're not dressed or anything. But they just ring the bell. And they have to, uh, to make like some pretty... How do you call that? Lanterns, I would say. On school. So this is when you're like... Four. I think you maybe start maybe when you're three until you're ten or something. So you're going to make some pretty lanterns back... On school, and then you're gonna go on the 11th of November to all the different houses, and you're gonna ring the bell, and then you're gonna sing a song, and then you get candy. So that is kind of our Halloween, I would say, but that is just for all the kids, right? So when you're over 10 or maybe a little bit older, you never celebrate it anymore. So I think it would be a real fun idea to bring Halloween over here to the Netherlands for the older people so we can get dressed up and we can get funky. I think that's a great idea and it's a shame that we don't do it over here. Have you guys ever heard of St. Martin? I don't know if it's only a thing in the Netherlands or maybe in some different countries as well. I have no idea. But yeah, as I said, this month is going to be all Halloween spreads. And I'm not even a person that likes scary things or anything. It's just all this art that comes out in the planner community is just great. This is actually some art from Kittens Jazz. And obviously Kittens Jazz, she rocks the world, guys. She makes such stunning art. And this is actually a printable kit. I will definitely link it down below. And I'm sorry, guys. You're going to see my head a couple of times in this video. I am not really sure why this happened. And I really try to make sure that my head is not in the frame. But every now and then, you will see my little creepy hairs, baby hairs, uh, coming in the video. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, this art is from Kittens Jess. And I will definitely link the printable kit that I've used down below. And I'm really excited for all the Halloween spreads that are coming out. I am seeing some fall spreads over on Instagram. Uh, yeah, people sharing their fall spreads already. And I'm absolutely obsessed. I really am. I am not planning on doing any fall kits anytime soon. I am just going to do the whole month of November. That's all going to be my fall spreads. And I always really like this time of year because October, November and December are just completely filled with good kids, I would say. October is always Halloween, November is always fall and December is always Christmas. I mean, it's just the best time of year, I would say. If only it would stop raining, then it would be 
perfect because it's actually raining a lot over here in the Netherlands, which is so annoying. But yeah, that is just what comes with this time of year, I think. But yeah, let me actually talk you a little, tell you a little bit about the week that I had this um, week, the first week of October, actually. Um, let me see. So my parents were still on a holiday, on a little trip away, and they actually came home on Friday. So uh, for the first half of the week, I was actually still by myself. And if you've seen my latest plan with me, you know, guys, I'm not the biggest hero. But I survived. They're back. And I'm good. I have no more nightmares. And everything is fine again. So happy me. Happy, happy me. Uh, so at the beginning of the week, I actually was a little bit with my best friend. She actually came over to support me <laughs> during my lonely times. And uh, we did watch some new girl. I actually finished Lucifer this week. Which I just think it's great. Guys, I'm really sorry if you hear me talking about this a lot. But I just think Lucifer is awesome. And I'm really sad that it's over right now. But I mean, it's coming back, I think, very soon, right? Because they have to stop filming because of the COVID. But I think it's coming back soon. I don't know when, guys. If, you, if you're watching this and you know when Lucifer is coming back, definitely let me know. Because... I need to set my alarm for that because I love it. And I do have to say that it just happened so fast because when I started this uh, watching Lucifer, I saw that it had like five seasons and I was like, I am, this is going to take forever to finish. And then out of the blue, I started with season four. It just happened. And then out of the blue, I saw that I was in season five and I was like, wait, what? How does this happen? But what actually the thing was is that season four only had seven episodes, I think. And before I knew it, I was in season five. And before I knew it, I was finished. So obviously, I didn't know what to do with my life anymore. So what I actually did is I started watching Love Island. And that is really kind of like a guilty pleasure of mine and I'm actually currently watching the Dutch version of Love Island which is okay but obviously I just prefer the UK one because I think that is absolutely amazing I have been watching it from the beginning I have watched every season I've actually watched uh, one season two times because I have a mad crush on Jack Fowler I don't know if you guys know him but the man is gorgeous and I've actually watched that season two times because that man is just stunning. But yeah, Love Island is kind of like a guilty pleasure. And I'm currently watching the Dutch season, which isn't that great. But I mean, I think it's better than the other ones we had before. I think this is like season three from the Netherlands. And I think this is our best one yet. But I can't wait because I know that the UK version is actually out right now. And... I can't wait for that one to get uh, over here in the Netherlands so I can watch that one because I do think that's the UK is just the original and I think it's always the best. Do you guys watch Love Island? I would really like to know. Don't give me any spoil spoilers on anything that is happening in the UK right now because I have not watched anything and I'm really trying to avoid anything on Netflix. Uh, I'm sorry, on Instagram because I don't want to get any spoilers, right? But yeah, so now I'm just obsessed with Love Island and I'm watching it like all day. But it's just such a good show and you don't really have to pay attention like all the time, right? You can just put it on in the background and just watch every now and then and you're just good. Because it's just drama, it's just love, it's just games, it's just fun, I think. So I'm watching that right now. I have been absolutely loving it lately and actually on friday something not really fun has happened but i will talk to you guys a little bit more when i'm getting there but i think i'm always getting started with the day by day and obviously guys i have used gold foil with this one and all the foil that you see i actually made myself if i didn't make it myself i will try to let you guys know and you can always ask me down uh, in the comments below if you have a question about anything obviously uh, but yeah, 
let me actually start with a day by day. So on Monday, the first thing that I marked is that I actually slept in and I used a little olive sticker from the leopard collection. And then uh, that day I actually uh, had a fun day with my best friend. She came over uh, because I was obviously, obviously still by myself. And we just had a chill day at home and we actually watched some new girl. I think I've talked about this in my last plan with me, but I'm not really sure. We actually started watching season seven and I've never, ever finished New Girl, even though it's my favorite uh, show in the whole entire world. I've never w- finished it and we are planning on finish it, sh- finishing it the next time when we're going to see each other. So I will definitely let you guys know what my thoughts were on that because I just haven't been able to finish it because of some sentimental stupid things but i'm excited to see the ending i'm really excited don't give me any spoilers guys because i have to figure it all out myself but after that we i mean i had my laser appointments i go to uh the laser to go for the hair removal every five weeks which is a pain in the butt but it's for it's for the best right it is for the best and then it was actually the anniversary of my best friend and her girlfriend so I definitely had to mark that because they were together for two years and actually last year was really funny because the last year they were obviously one year together and they planned like a riddle, uh, a romantic trip away to Belgium and they booked everything just for the two of us and out of the blue they asked me to come with them So it was kind of strange, but it was a hilarious trip. And they actually took me to Belgium because I wasn't really feeling that. Yeah, I just found out that my dad was sick at the time. And they just told me, all right, Bridge, just come with us and just have fun with us. And they just took my mind of everything. And that was last last year. And we had so much fun then. Uh, So I definitely had to mark that it was their anniversary. And then later that day, I obviously had to um public my plan with me so I also marked that and then on Tuesday the first thing that I marked is that it was actually uh my bef- best friend her girlfriend her birthday so Felice that is her girlfriend so I definitely had to mark that and then actually something really fun happened because I had an Instagram takeover I am part of the pink planner show with my shop, with my shop Olive & Co. And I had to do an Instagram takeover. And guys, I was so nervous. And if you've watched it, thank you so much. If you would like to watch it, they have definitely saved it over on their Instagram. So you're still able to watch it. Uh, guys, I was so nervous about doing it, but I absolutely loved it. I think it was so much fun. And I just thought it was really fun to show you guys a little bit behind the scenes also. So if you haven't watched it, please do. And let me let me know what your thoughts were because I would really like to know. Uh, but yeah, later that day, I did have to uh, do another driving lesson because obviously like my exam is coming really soon. And I think the next time that I'm going to be talking to you guys, the next plan with me that you're going to be seeing, I'm going to let you guys know. So that's going to be really excited if I'm going to be passing the exam or not and then later that day I had to work on the shop a little more so I used a little fox and cactus Halloween sticker for that and I went to the post office and that day I finished Lucifer and as I said I think Lucifer is great and I mean it's not finished finished because they are obviously had to stop but uh, I got caught up there and I actually used this perfect um once on in a million sticker for that who is a little devil adorable and then on wednesday i had to go to work so i obviously marked my bike ride and that's a little harriet ride design sticker the foiled one and then i worked all day that day so this was my first day back to work working a full entire day and it was kind of hard i'm not gonna lie i had a little bit of a headache so I need to take it a little bit slow, but yeah, we're going to see how that will go. And I'm actually switching things around there because I want to put down a Once More With Love little sticker that was on a freebie, actually, I think. But I wanted her to go the right direction. I'm going to be showing you that, I think, now. 
And I couldn't face her to the right direction because I obviously want to... Um, yeah, you can see kind of what I mean there. So I'm switching things around. Uh, but I end up still messing it up. <laughs> Classic me, right? So it still doesn't go the right way, but it's fine. I mean, it does go the right way, but I messed um, the separation. I don't know really how you would call that, but I, I messed it up. That's all I have to say, but let's just pretend that it never happened. Because you can see over there that I put the Dove sticker from Once More With Love uh, above the YouTube sticker from my shop. And I like to alternate them. But anyway, guys, let's just pretend that it's not there. It's fine. So I did have a YouTube binge and I marked that with a little olive sticker from my shop. And then I was actually super, super tired because obviously it was the first day that I worked the entire day. And I used a Once More With Love stick, which I think matches perfectly. It is like a little panda who is absolutely exhausting. And then I did went to bed early that night and I marked that with an olive leopard sticker uh, from my shop. And yeah, I just was really tired that day. Uh, it was like a full day of nine hours uh, at my job. And yeah, as I said, it was the first day. So I really had to get used to it again. But luckily the next day I was able to work uh, a little less again. So that was really nice. But yeah, obviously everything has to go back to normal again. So I'm going to be working full days again soon. But on Thursday, the first thing that I did that morning is I actually had to clean the house a little bit because my parents were coming home. I thought that Friday, but they were actually super done with uh, going away because it was just raining a lot. So they decided to come home a little earlier. So I did had to stress out and clean everything like really fast. But obviously, I mean, luckily I didn't make such a mess. So it was fine. But... Uh, after that, I did have to make some phone calls, so I'm using a olive sticker for that, and then I had to go to work, so I used a bike sticker, and before I came to work, I actually gave myself a little facial, I try to do that every now and then, so I used a Coffee Monsters & Co. sticker for that, and then I worked a half of the day, and then my parents actually came home uh, in the evening, I think, so when I came home from work, they were actually back and it was really good to see them and I'm really happy that they're back home uh, and then later that day I actually uploaded my new releases video and I used a paper shire little youtube button sticker which also matches perfectly to this spread so that was actually my Thursday and then I'm actually talking so much with my hands and it is something that I just can't control so if you hear like some wind or anything in the little microphone that I speak in. I, it is, I'm so sorry guys. But it's just my hand going like everywhere. Because I'm just so excited to tell you everything. I, It's just something that I can't control. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah. On Friday I actually started my morning with filming and editing. Uh, I planned with me. So I used this really cute Fox and Cactus sticker. And then yeah. I had to go to the hospital again. I know and I actually had two appointments this time so in the morning I had an appointment for my throat because uh, my tonsils I removed them earlier this year but the operation or the surgery didn't went so good so I had to check up again and then uh, that was actually not the worst but later that day I did do my nails and I used an olive sticker for that and then I had to go back to the hospital because guys I actually went to the gynecologist to put a spiral in. And oh my god. Like that is a next level pain. It was the worst. If you've experienced it, you probably know what I'm talking about, but like my I I I know I'm I have pain like quite easily, but this pain is out of the world. <laughs> It was just the worst and it wasn't fun at all and I'm really happy that it's over but I for the entire weekend I had so bad yeah like my my belly it just hurt it so bad it was ridiculous and then later that day when I try when I 
got home, I tried to do some more work on the shop. So I used a Fox and Cactus sticker. And then I just marked that I was in so much pain because it was absolutely ridiculous. And I just wasn't really able to do anything more. So I just laid down on the bed with like a lot of blankets, try to stay as calm as possible. And I hope I'm not over exaggerating about this, but the pain was just so bad. And I know if it's I don't know if it's just me or if it's just with all the girls, because I talked a lot to a lot of friends and they actually told me, yeah, I mean it's real bad, it's real bad, but it will get better. But guys, this pain was out of the world. It was ridiculous. But Saturday I actually have to go back to work again. So that that is what I marked the first thing that day. And then I did mark with a little fox and cactus girl that I had so much pain. Uh, but I didn't make it throughout the day and I did do some groceries after and I didn't really know how to mark that. So I just used this little ghost from Papershire, which I think is absolutely adorable. And then that evening I actually spent the night with two of my friends and we actually had like a movie night. And it was great because we just drank some wine and they really distracted me off the pain and we had a lot of fun. Uh, so I am marking that with a little uh, bow from White Deer Stationery. And the movie night I'm marking with a doodle sticker from my shop. And I just put like a little foil decoration on top of it, which I think looks absolutely adorable. And then uh, I used another olive sticker from my shop who is sitting on the couch with a big bottle of wine. And I'm, I just marked that we had some drinks because that is what we did. And we had a really fun night. And because I drank a little bit, I didn't feel the pain. So that was awesome. And then on Sunday, the first thing that I marked is that we did slept in a little bit. Um, so I marked that with a little olive sticker from the Leopard Collection again. And then uh, I did clean my room. So I marked that with a Once More With Love sticker, which I think also matches perfectly to this spread and I think it's one of my favorite stickers from Once More With Love like she is just adorable and then obviously I had to mark that I was still in a lot of pain so when I'm filming this voiceover it's actually the Tuesday after this week so it is finally better this is the first day that it is getting way and way better but it took a while for me to feel better it was it, it was so bad and then uh, later that day, I did decided to make some stickers, so I used a little Olive & Co. sticker for that. And then I started watching Love Island. And as I told you, I think it's wonderful. And then later that day, I had some family time. So the little TV sticker is actually from Magic Prince Co. And then the heart sticker is from White Deer Stationery. So that, guys, was my week. And I do have to say that I think this spread is absolutely gorgeous. I am really, really happy with how this turned out. I absolutely love the colors. I have, I absolutely love the gold that I've used with this kit. And I'm really ha excited about it. So I'm actually sprinkling around some decorations. And I'm going to be giving you guys a little wiggle. And that was it. That was my plan with me for this week. I really hope you guys liked it. Definitely let me know in the comments down below. What your thoughts were on Lucifer. Uh, if you watch Love Island. I would really like to know. And maybe if you ever get a spiral. Because I would love to. Even though it's a little TMI guys. I know. But am I the only one who has experienced so much pain? I have no idea. I would love to get your opinion about that guys. Because I have no idea. But yeah guys. That was my plan with me for this week. I am actually really really happy with how this turned out. And I'm really excited for all the spreads that are coming for the rest of the month for all the Halloween spreads. I have actually planned out everything and I decided on all the foil that I'm going to be using. And it is going to be epic. I just know it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope everyone is still doing okay and that you're still holding on to some positive thoughts. Because I know these are still crazy, crazy times. And uh, you can always feel free to message me. I would love to have little conversations with you guys. You can uh, maybe message me on Instagram. And yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to be seeing you in my next plan with me. Bye bye, guys.